Today we will continue transforming our pre-built Acer desktop PC into a gaming rig that will be capable of playing many modern games in 1080p and doing all that on a budget. Why buying a new computer when you can upgrade yours and save you some extra cash when you are tight with your budget? In a previous video we upgraded the CPU and RAM spending only 30 euros on that. We managed to get almost 70% more performance in our benchmark test comparing with what we previously had. That's a really nice upgrade for very little money. Link to that video you will find in the description below. So now we will continue with the rest of our upgrade. We did a small research on what GPU to buy and by that I mean something cheap and powerful enough. I came across the GTX 580 which was selling around 40 euros. So I thought it would be a nice choice. This card had a price tag of 500 euros on its release in 2010 and had really good reviews back then. The drawback though is that this video card is very power hungry so we will need a bigger power supply to make sure that we have enough power to run it. We bought a GTX 580 with 1.5GB of VRAM from eBay for just 40 euros and also a 750W power supply for 25 euros. You actually don't need such a big power supply, you will be also good with a 600W but if the price is good enough you can take whatever is available at that point. Just make sure the power supply you buy has available connection pins for the GPU as this one needs one 6 pin and one 8 pin connection cables. So we had a dual core i3 CPU, 4 gigs of RAM and now we have a quad core i5 CPU, 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 580 graphics card. We still have our old GPU and power supply that we can easily sell for 20 euros and that's what we actually did. After all these upgrades we have spent a total of 75 euros for the transformation of our old low spec PC into a gaming spec one. Now it's time to see what is this PC capable of in gaming. We start our test with the Rise of the Tomb Raider where we have smooth gameplay on high settings and an average of 40 frames per second. At Far Cry Primal on high settings we get again smooth gameplay and an average of 40 frames per second. Dirt Rally we can play it on ultra settings with no problem and get also 40 frames per second on average with no lags at all. At Battlefield 4 you get a really good game experience, it can play it very easily on high settings and get over 60 frames per second. GTA 5 on high settings get locked 58 frames per second and a smooth gameplay. At Crisis 3 it runs with 52 frames per second on average on high settings. And last we tested the Witcher 3 on high settings with VSync on and got constant 30 frames per second all the time with no drops in frames. I think the money we invested and the performance we got from this pre-built computer is really worth it. As you saw it did perform pretty well although it was a 7 year old pre-built computer. If you have a machine like that and don't have the money to buy a new rig I think that's the ideal solution. For a really small budget you get a decent performance. Imagine what it could be capable of if it had a better motherboard with overclocking potential. So take your time, do your homework and save some extra cash. That was it guys, leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about this upgrade. Would you do it? Hit the like button if you find this video interesting and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.